H96 Max H1. New TV box, in the box you got the TV box itself. HDMI cable, power adapter, remote control, and user manual. It's a big size device and you can feel the cheap plastic. On the top there is a logo and these colors. Nothing from the front, nothing from the side. From the back we got a USB port, SBDIF, AV, LAN, and power port. From the right we have the full size SD card slot and three USB ports. The last one is USB 3. And this is how it looks from the bottom. Let's go to the specifications. The processor is Rookie Chip 3328, CPU Cortex A53 quad core, the GPU is Mali 450, 4 GB RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage. The device running Android 7.1, supports 2.4 and 5G dual band Wi-Fi. It has Bluetooth 4 and the price is around $60. I will connect the device to my TV and start to record the screen for you. This is the boot screen. The first time you will ask you to choose the language, adjust the screen size and connect to the Wi-Fi. The launcher is similar to many boxes. We have a navigation bar on the bottom, notification tab on the top. Below we have some icons which can't be adjusted. And we have the icons bar, you can adjust it by show or hide whatever you like. This is the application key pre-installed. We have Google Chrome, Cloud TV, Filmon, Kudi, Media Center, Modbro, Netflix, Shoebox, YouTube and other applications. Out of the 32 gigs, we have 25 gigs free and the Android version is 7.1.2. This is the Cloud TV. In tradition throughout their courtship, Megan even attended the Queen's... This is the YouTube, and I wasn't able to find the resolution menu, but I believe the maximum resolution will be 1080. The Play Store will give you access to download any application or games that you need, and the Kudi version is 18.1. I will play some videos with different qualities, starting with HD 720. Full HD, 1080. Quad HD, 1440. Textiles? And finally the 4K 2160, 60 frames per second, and all of them working perfectly. Fighting does not make you a hero. What if I promise to be careful? Just a shield then, Diana. No sharp edges. Be careful of mankind, Diana. The Netflix came with the device is working fine, the device is rooted, and the gaming performance is very good. But the reading and writing score for the internal memory is very low as well as the benchmark score especially for this price range and the device came number 23 in my list we reach now to the final step which is the factory reset i will reset the device and see if it's going to work again or not the device is working i think it's good device the only downside is the low score of the benchmark and the price Otherwise, everything is working, so it's up to you guys if you like to pick one or not. Anyway, I will leave the links in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't yet, and I will see you in the next video.